Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. IPv4 and IPv6 will coexist for a long time. Many techniques were developed to handle this transition. These techniques can be summarized into three categories: dual stack, tunneling, and translation. There are many tunneling technologies, such as manual tunneling, SIG24, ESETAP, and many others. Today, my topic is SIG24 tunneling, also known as automatic SIG24 tunneling. SIG24 tunneling is designed to connect automatically to multiple IPv6 networks over one tunnel. This method is point-to-multipoint connection. In other words, a single SIG24 tunnel can be used to connect to any number of IPv6 networks over IPv4-only network. Compared with manual tunneling, which we talked about in the last video, SIG24 tunneling is more scalable. It's easier than manual tunneling to add more routers to the existing SIG24 networks. Any device using SIG24 tunneling needs a special IPv6 address. Let's see how this special SIG24 address looks like. The first SIG bit prefix is 2002, followed by a 32-bit long hexadecimal number converted from a 32-bit IPv4 address of its border router, then followed by 16-bit long subnet ID, then 64-bit interface ID. It's kind of complicated. But basically, if you see an IPv6 address with 2002 as a prefix, you can tell it is a special address and a 624 tunneling is used. Let's use an example to see how a host gets a 624 IP address. Take host A as an instance. Is a 624 IP address is 2002, the first 16 bit long prefix, followed by 0101 colon 0101, which is 32 bit hexadecimal number converted from the IPv4 address. 1.1.1.1 of its border router's one interface or public side IP address, then followed by its subnet ID and its own 64 bit interface ID. It sounds very complicated because IPv6 is very long. The same principle applies to hosts B, C, and D. Their 16-bit prefix is again same, 2002, followed by 32-bit hexadecimal number converted from their own router's one-size IPv4 address, and then followed by their own subnet ID and then 64-bit interface ID. For the sake of learning, I try to make these four hosts 624 addressing as simple as possible because IPv6 address is kind of long and confusing. It takes a while to get used to the structure. Thus, a host 624 address is made from both IPv4 address its own border router and its own interface ID. 2002 is the prefix. 
Now let's look at an example to demonstrate how seek to four tunneling works. Suppose host A is sending packet to host B. Notice host A uses its seek to four IP address as a source IP address, and host B's seek to four IP address as a destination IP address. Between host A and host B, the communications are IPv6 to IPv6. However, if we look inside the tunnel over IPv4 only network, their communications are IPv4 to IPv4. The packet's source address is 1.1.1.1, which is the IPv4 address of route 1 and the destination is 2.2.2.2, which is the IPv4 address of router 2. 6 to 2 4 IP packet is encapsulated by IPv4 header. Basically, 6 to 4 tunneling is using IPv4 header to encapsulate an IPv6 packet so that the packet can pass through IPv4 only network. In summary, 6 to 4 tunneling can automatically connect any number of IPv6 networks over IPv4 only network. 6 to 4 tunneling basically uses IPv4 headers to wrap IPv6 packets so that they can pass through IPv4 only network. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.